start. So, Bell coming in from the far end, right arm round, and Jones plays that through the covers. Beautiful shot from Eve Jones there, left-handed. Goes right across the real estate here at Edge Baston in the next delivery. Comes forward and plays that through the offside again. It's going towards the boundary. There's two fielders after it. Oh, it hits the rope, and that's another. As Bell comes in from the far end towards us, Eve Jones comes forward and plays that into a lovely gap there through long off. No, no risk at all. Right along the carpet, right arm round the wicket. Eve Jones comes forward and plays that through the point region. There's two fielders after it. They might catch it, but they don't. It's four runs to Eve Jones. So that was a great over for Central Sparks. To stay in contention in this competition, are off to a flyer. Dean bowls again, full outside the off stump, and Eve, uh, Amy Jones is driving through the covers, and it's running away. It's very quick, the outfield, and picks up four. It Chosen to bat first, more people coming in all the time. Dean bowls full and she's driven off the thick outside edge. It's going to be four runs all the same for Amy Jones, running backward a point. Pressure of runs on the board, as they say, as Bell comes into Jones, who plays that late through third, and it's going to go down for four runs. Four easy runs there. It's sort of dabbed at last minute. The run through third and down the pitch this time two or three steps down the pitch and taking on taking it on over mid off and away for four a lovely clean strike from amy jones change the momentum yeah dean to eve jones oh she's bolder she's clean bold eve jones there that bound should be a mighty attempt to take them on yeah. oh he's bold she's bold davina perrin that's the second one this over comes in the game Bowls round the wicket. That's a lovely shot by Erin Burns. Over mid off, one bounce four. Beautiful. Nobody there. Smith comes in again and bowls. Burns hits high and over mid wicket. She be, could be Whoa. caught by Danny Wyatt and is Whoa. caught deep mid wicket. Danny Wyatt right on the boundary. I reckon only play today. He comes Elvis again then and bowls and that's high over mid off by Amy Jones. That's a beautiful shot as well. She's done that two or three times already in her innings. You can see why. In fact, it's one one in the uh, Rachel Hayhoe with the Vipers winning at Wormsley. There's a lovely deft sweep shot by Freeborn. That's going for four. Very, very fine indeed. Just sort of held the bat there, opened the face. It looks like it's going to be competitive score. In comes Elwis. Takes a bit of the pace off that, and it's well picked by Amy Jones, who scoops it over extra cover off the back foot and gets four runs. Faces Elwis running in again and takes... Oh, you know, he's straight to mid-off. What a soft way to get out, and how unfortunate for Amy Jones, having made 45 with a skip and now sets in it's a real direct sprint to the stumps and bowls full to George who adds insult to injury by levering this wide of mid on good stroke manufactured there I think they're going to particularly need to look around Elwis bowls right arm over the wicket to George who hits over the top over mid off and one bounce and away for four runs that's the most authoritative stroke we've seen for some time Pitch is well over to one side today as Elwis bowls close to the stumps and is driven hard down the ground for four, probably by Freeborn. Yeah, it's going to have the urge to get there. And she bowls to Freeborn and bowl off stump. Drove right over the top of a fuller delivery, trying to turn it to the leg side. They're going to sort of reach. Uh, well, I mean, 150 is still pretty good. There's a lovely shot over extra cover from Katie George using her feet, and uh, Emily Windsor isn't going to get round in time. As Dean comes in, this is the last ball of her fourth over. Oh, she bowled! Katie George trying to give herself some room, cuts it away on the offside. She misses it, the ball clatters it into the stumps, and Dean has picked up another wicket. It leaves me a little, like, anxious. So this isn't working. It's low no. full toss, which is swept away. Beth and Ellis will pick up four runs. No, as Adams comes in to Campbell this time, left-handed. She comes forward, and, oh, that's not comfortable. Oh, she's going to be ru stumped, run out, stumped, whichever. One or the other. Adams collects herself and Davis. Ooh. Oh, she's clean boulder. She's clean. Did she not know that it's her birthday, Kevin? Should call what her a back. Mean thing. So, you've got to give yeah. her one off the mark, haven't you? Yeah. I don't to... think they'll be playing tomorrow. I just have a feeling they're only allowed to play one game this weekend. There's a drive up to oh. mid off. Georgia Adams takes it. And that is nine wickets down. Mm. Simple catch for Georgia Adams about stomach height. Her brain is what they will miss, I suspect. Yeah. Still two balls left here. Two Ooh. legitimate balls. Edge down to third, and that'll be four. Vipers yet to get off the mark as she runs back into Ellen McCacken, who's played a beautiful shot on the leg side. She's lifted that, and that's raced away for a boundary. George running back into ball to Ellen McCacken, who plays again another flick shot. It almost mimicked the first one, and it races away again for another boundary. 
Katie George runs in to McCacken, who again tries to play that on the leg side, and it's gone. It's missed the stumps, it's missed the keeper, and it's gone for four buys. I think she might have got a tickle on that. I didn't see a signal. Katie George running in, and it's driven beautifully, and it's gone through the fielder in the slip cordon area for a boundary. Katie George, and it's pulled beautifully and it goes through into the lakeside boundary and that's four runs again for Ellen McCacken. The scoring angle. Danny White comes out and she's hit that through past the fielder and covers and it's gone for four runs. Made off. Erin Burns come back in and she plays a similar shot but this time controlling it much better and over the head of covers for another four. Rob. No, um, Ellie Anderson, she has bowled well and she's a uh, Going to bowl into Ella McCacken and she's bowled. This is probably like our winter, this weather. <laughs> oh, right. Um, uh, now, there's a nice shot. Slog sweep in the air, but it could be out and caught it deep mid wicket and Felton goes. The backup option. Is that right? That's yeah. short and it's hammered away. This could be Katie George again and it is. Well, that's a carbon copy of the dismissal of Nicole Felton. Anna Baker with her spin at the other end as well. And uh, Danny White hits down the ground in the air and that has gone for four. One bounce. That's why I forgot it's her birthday today, yeah. yeah. Now, there's a slog sweep, Daddy White, it's in the air, but there's nobody back on the square. That's quite a deliberate shot. She'll know there's nobody there. That's why she's played it. There's Davis comes in again, and she goes with a cross-batted shot and split the field on the leg side, four runs. Beautiful shot, Danny White. Ellis into... Oh, it's gone in the air. Straight to Davina Perry, and it's a catch at point. <laughs> because there's not a lot of flight here. Burns, he's firing them in a bit. There's a bit more flight in that one, and Dean yeah. slog sweeps, and he's caught at deep mid wicket. Yeah, and long off spit, going slightly wider. Ellis to Wyatt, who plays that backward of square. It's going to go to the rope. That's four runs. That was easy. Just guided the ball, almost hockey style, backward yes. of square. They're in the gap. Easy runs there for uh, Danny Wyatt, who reaches that. We're finding these six overs from. No, Ellis to Wyatt, who plays that in the air. Is there a fielder underneath it? I think it's going to be a long way. No, it's one bounce, four. And here <laughs> comes Davis, creeping up to the stumps, right arm round the wicket. And oh. Wyatt sweeps oh. over, short, fine leg, and he's going to get at least two runs. It's going to beat the sprint around the boundary. And Pavely so cross she couldn't get to that, but she was always three paces short. Still nearly, nearly eight and over. Round the wicket comes Davis, and slanting this across Ooh. Wyatt, who drives probably for four runs. But Perrin couldn't stop it. Beth Nellis into Donnie Welch. She takes a big swing and she's hit that. And has it gone straight into the hands of the fielder? It has. It's gone straight into the hands of the fielder there at long mid on. The Aussie Erin Burns, number 20, taking the catch. And it's all over for Danny Wyatt. And Beth Nellis into Emily Windsor, who plays that straight. And it went through the fielder at mid off and it's gone and hit the boundary rope. At 127 for six. Burns bowls. Down the wicket comes Windsor. Hits it wide and mid on. Is it wide enough? Not quite. Oh, it's pushed over the boundary. Miss Field. And the crucial over as she runs into Nancy Harmon, who comes out of the and she's stumped by Amy Jones. Extras at this point as Windsor's on strike and she comes out of her crease and she's stumped by Amy Jones. The final ball as Bethan comes in. Lindsay Smith, she just hits it to the onside, collected by the fielder there and that's one run and Central Sparks have won the game and it's been a brilliant performance from them I thought 143 was probably about 20 runs short but they've defended it and um, it's their second victory now in the um, Charlotte Edwards Cup yeah seven run victory for uh, the Central uh, Sparks their second win in this competition having first beaten the Sunrisers